What's good, everybody? It's your boy, CB Sports TV. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video at the end of this video. Um, I just read on uh, World Boxing News that, um, as I thought, the whole plan of all along, the earliest we'll see a, a potential Wilder Joshua fight, even Wilder Fury, would be 2020. Because now, even though... Anthony Joshua on September 22nd is about to face his mandatory in Alexander Povetkin. They've already ordered and sent him out that he has to face his next mandatory. He has, he has six months from that date to oblige and face his mandatory, which happens to be the WBO number two, Dillian White. Go figure. And then, of course, you know, he has the IBF mandatory. He has to face the winner of um, Huey, Huey Fury and Kubrat Pulev when they fight so I mean like I said AJ and Eddie Hearn had this whole plan from the get go of not fighting Wilder until 2020 that was their plan all along but once Deontay Wilder you know what I'm saying fight Tyson Fury in November you know what I'm saying and, and knock his head off and then come at rematch and knock his head off again 51 and no AJ don't get no fight the hell with the mother belts. That's real talk. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You want to play, you know, coward games and be a coward and, you know what I'm saying, not have the heart, which he don't. You know what I'm saying? He's a fraud because he's a media-created hype job. It's garbage, man. But I'm telling you, in that time, don't be surprised if Dillian White knock AJ off. I'm just being honest with you. And then they'll go a trilogy, so that might push out to 2021. At that point in time, Deontay Wilder, keep going and push it on. Fight Tyson Fury, then, and then you know, saying if you get, if you want the immediate rematch, to give it to him. If not, then go knock down at Brazil head off, and then just smoke through the WBC rankings. Come on, the Adam Kalnakis, Charles Martins, you know, what I'm saying Luis Ortiz again. You know, hey, keep you know keep going. You're gonna make plenty of money. So Anthony Joshua is irrelevant. But I'm not surprised, you know, what I'm saying because they say he has a slew of mandatories as they pile up. How when Povetkin is the WBA and WBO mandatory? You're supposed to have a year after that, you know, San Francisco. He's fighting September 22nd. September 22nd of 2019 is supposed to be next time mandatory is supposed to be ordered. Just so convenient, the WBA says he has to fight another mandatory in a six month period. Go figure. I'm not surprised, though. So if you think I'm joking, go on worldboxingnews.net and you'll see the article. It's a joke. And I'm going to tell you that just like that, it is a complete and utter joke. I understand the IBF, he's had pretty much 18 months. So last time he fought Carlos Takam. So I understand, you know what I'm saying, he should have this mandatory fight right here, then the one with um, Pavekin coming up. WBA don't have one because he's their super champion. So that's not even, um, you know what I'm saying, an issue. But I just want to let y'all, you know, bring to light the bullshit that's going on and the garbage that's going on, you know what I'm saying, which I'm not surprised. So, people, let's just move on from, um, you know, Wilder Joshua because it's a waste of time. And that's just what it is. It's your boy, CB Sports TV. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on YouTube, CB Sports TV. Follow me on Instagram, underscore Gladiator81. Follow me on Twitter, CB Sports TV. And it's your boy, CB Sports TV. Shout out to the whole LDBC. I'm gone.